The latest tonight on the crisis at the border. When we see footage of migrants crossing, it's usually during the day. Our Yami Virheen is taking us to the edge of the Rio Grande at night to see firsthand what our law enforcement and National Guard see when the sun goes down. It is hot, difficult to sometimes get around. And now part of the Rio Grande here in Eagle Pass looks like this. People are dying every day because of what the governor's doing. Some who grew up here on the border say it is hard to watch what has become their river. When you see a state agency pushing out a federal agency. Democrats. That is big. And Republicans alike. Y'all are the ones that are trespassing. Don't like most of the changes. But with hundreds of thousands of migrants crossing, the state of Texas and the federal government are at odds on who is in charge of immigration and what to do to stop the flow of hundreds of thousands of migrants crossing every day. The presence of DPS and the National Guard has slowed down migrants, but not stopped all of those who have traveled in some cases thousands of miles seeking asylum, like 17-year-old Joe Nyker from Venezuela, whom we met here three weeks ago at Heavenly Farms, the pecan farm now at the center of the fight between the state of Texas and the federal government. But not all migrants cross during the day. Some jump into the river when night falls. Pretty dark as you can see. From Heavenly Farms, we watched in the cover of night. We see families and others crossing and being stopped by the National Guard once they get through the razor wire. As they wait for DPS to come get them, we notice something across the river on the Mexican side. We observed a woman, a coyote, bringing people down to the river. We observed this for about 30 minutes. You can see the ripples in the water and hear voices. As we continue down the dirt road, we see more National Guard. There is a holding area that we have shown you in previous stories that looks like this during the day. You cannot see it now. And when we get to the top of the property, DPS and Border Patrol are waiting to receive from down below by the river the group that has come in during the last two hours. Around 11 o'clock at night, we start seeing the migrants be led up. In the darkness, we can make them out, including the children. We count in all 130 men, women, and children who are now in the process of being handed over to Border Patrol. Among them, the children we had seen two hours earlier by the fence with the National Guard. They are now in the group of unaccompanied minors. What stands out the most to us is the cooperation between those working here on this hot Texas summer night. That includes giving aid to a little girl who had become overheated. In spite of the legal fight between the state and the federal government, boots on the ground, meaning National Guard, Texas DPS troopers and Border Patrol agents work together. All of them show professionalism and care for those in their custody. We hear agents and troopers talking about the food and other items they pay out of pocket to give aid to the migrants they may encounter. And the empathy shown to all, especially the children, is not often captured by cameras, but it is there. After an hour and a half, all 130 are processed and leave, but soon it will be time for another group that is now assembling down by the river in the darkness. Jamie Virgin, Fox News at 9.
A nonprofit has set up a GoFundMe page for the family of a three-year-old girl who died while riding a bus that was sending migrants from Texas to Chicago. It's a story we've been following for days. Three-year-old Jeez Marie Gonzalez passed away unexpectedly on Thursday. We still don't know her official cause of death. A welcoming center in Illinois is supporting the family with burial and funeral costs. For an in-depth look at the crisis at the border, listen to Yami Virgen's award-winning podcast, Immigration Crisis Fight for the Southern Border. It's available in both English and Spanish, wherever you listen to your podcasts.